Welcome to the Forte Web training video series. This is going to be a real quick video on the product selection tab. All right, moving on to the product selections tab. This is where you're going to select what different products and depths and spacings you want to evaluate as a solution for this floor joist that we're trying to size. One thing to note is that you have to make at least one selection in each field before Forte Web will allow you to proceed on to the next tab. So over on the left you see our categories of products. If you're searching or wanting to select a particular product and you're not finding it, you do need to come up to the Materials Manager and you can select that product to be on. We have a whole other uh, training video on that. So once you have your products set correctly in Materials Manager, you can come in here and choose what you want to evaluate for this particular joist or beam or whatever you're sizing. Um, so starting up at the very top is a preservative treatment. We only size preservative treatments or evaluate preservative treatments for Paralam Plus. That is a regional product. It's not available everywhere. So um, if you don't have that available to you, then you're not going to be able to size any treated product in this program. So for this floor joist, let's say we're going to look at a, a TJI and my typical TJI series for my area is a 210 or a 360. And let's and I'm using the control key to multi-select. You also have the select all checkboxes available to you up here and deselect all, but to multi-select just a couple you use the control key. Let's say for the depths, I prefer to size 11, 7, 8, 14, and 16. And for spacings, I like to stay within 16 and 19, too, and a single ply. You also have a custom spacing field down here. If you're doing some kind of odd spacing, you can set that. Um, and we do have commodity lumber, so if you'd like to compare different sizes and grades. And remember I said I'm in the southeast, so let's say I'm going to pick a 2 by 10 number 2 and just see how that compares to some of my TJI solutions. And once you set things, um, you're probably going to have uh, similar desired solutions, so don't forget that Save as Default button. Um, you can set that so the next time you come in to size a floor joist, you don't have to go through and select all your various options. And you want to repeat that process for all your different member types, so drop beams, flush beams, etc. And then next comes the solutions and reports.